Oh my god, hey. Welcome back to my kingdom of stagey isolation. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe and I'm obsessed with all things theatre. Today I've gotten all dressed up because I'm very excited for The Prom, which is coming to Netflix. So even though the original Broadway run of this new musical was cut short, an adaptation is coming to Netflix. If we can't go to all of our favourite theatres in 2020, at least we are getting new movie musicals to tide us over. So right now, as I'm recording this, The Prom hasn't actually come out on Netflix, but the cast recording has been released. So I'm going to have a listen to it today. For the past few weeks, I've been re-listening to the original Broadway cast recording of The Prom, and it's one of those scores I have mixed feelings about. I really love bits of it. There are bits of it I just completely skip, and there's a couple moments I find a little bit offensive. So we're going to see what changes have been made, how different performances uh, change my feelings about the songs. We're just going to see what I think. Is the problem if I can't find it? This song always reminds me of the opening of The Producers, because it's like opening night in a theatre. I love this intro. Yes! Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we have James Corden. Talk singing. Already street. Also talk singing. Is it too early for a dance break? Apparently not. That's my favourite lyric, maybe in the whole show. This tour de force will not be forced to tour. I do like that we've got this classic campy Broadway vibe in a movie musical. I'm, I'm thrilled with whoever's doing the high note. There are! Oh. It's just what we do. Streep climbed up there. What was the breathy James Corden line at the end? Oh boy. Oh, I hate how many times it says lesbian in the song. Thank God Andrew Reynolds is here, is all I have to say. That's two lyric changes. Thank God! Oh, I cannot tell you how relieved I am that they cut the unnecessary homophobic slur that the gay character says off my soapbox for a minute. We're going to move on to my favourite part of the show, which is when we finally get to hear from Emma. This is a great song. I love this song. Noted. Oh, I love the band there. Listen to that orchestration, that was gorgeous. Lovely clear vocal tone. She can sing! I love this. Someone should mash this up with Breathe from In The Heights. Has anyone done that yet? Loved that! Yes! Fierce little vocals. Okay, this is It's Not About Me and hopefully Meryl Streep is going to take us to... I'd, I, I was going to say church, but like the gay version of church. So the theatre. Now she has massive shoes to fill. Beth Level was astounding on this cast recording. If anyone can do it, it's Streep. Oh, the belt. Oh, those vocals from Streep. She wasn't given those to in Mamma Mia. She has grown as a vocalist. I hate that line. The payoff joke is funny, but no one says LGBTQ. It's a very divisive time in the world to leave the T out of the LGBT. I don't like... That's not necessary for a comedy line. <laughs> like James Corden's just in the distance somewhere. Is he not in the room? Is he yelling from outside? <laughs> I love that. No! This is what Juilliard training gets you. Every It's Not About Me is delivered differently. Oh, I like the orchestration here. It's much more dramatic. Yes! Yes, with a growl! You know what, I may just be getting overexcited here, but I think she could play Elphaba in the Wicked movie. <laughs> who are you to say no? Who are you to say no to Meryl Streep? Six as a movie, but they're all Meryl Streep. <laughs> it's possible I've become carried away. I don't want to be a That's the other thing movies will get you, is glorious orchestras that they can't afford on Broadway, sadly. I just wanna dance. Listen to the harp work. Oh. That was a beautiful note on through as well. Oh yes! 
coming in strong with her first vocal moment. This is one of the most glorious sounding lesbian duets I've ever heard. I've not heard enough lesbian duets. Let's be real. Have I heard any lesbian duets? Wait. Did we cut the last verse with the key change? Furious again. Why would you cut the key change? No one else sounds this much like half old school crooner crossed with Pokemon trainer. Oh, it's real early for this kind of a ballad. Coming in real vibrato -y there. That stays in the film. Good. Good. If you were going to do a musical version of the prom, wouldn't you do a promposal sequence? Happy for them. Ba -ba -bow. Is she his teacher? I assume she's not his teacher. Don't take your Spanish teacher to prom. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume not. Key change! At least they give me one key change in this damn show. None of these relationships will last past your high school years. Woo! Happy for you! Okay, this is Tonight Belongs To You. This is my favourite song in the entire show. But you can count on Uncle Barry. Yeah. He can turn this butchy duck. Oh, I hate it when he calls her a butchy duck. Don't call people butchy ducks. This tune, however, changes Madame life. Bam, bam, bam. You might find this disconcerting, but all Barry's done some flirting. I do find that deeply disconcerting. But it doesn't help them picturing him as Buster for Jones in the Cats movie. Oh, every time this tune comes back, I can't resist it. It's so good. Yes! This is Kerry Washington, we haven't heard her yet. If she can, I'm ready to give her Angelica Schuyler in the Hamilton film. I don't like when strangers get in my way. Okay. Anyone who messes with the PTA. Oh! Now get your ass in the car. Yes, Kerry Washington! Okay, I've given it to her. Angelica Schuyler in the Hamilton movie. What is happening right now? I... Where did Broadway go? It's modern music and I'm scared. But it's building to it, it's fine. My anxiety is fading away. Here we go. You know they'd have done this on Glee. Well, where did they go? It's a sad reprise. Oh no! Not the straight people. Okay, coming to lift our dampened spirits, we have Nicole Kidman and Zaz. And Kidman can sing. She's done movie musicals too, lest we forget Moulin Rouge. Challenge lies ahead and you are filled with dread and worry. Well, that's a character voice. Give it some zazz. It's very Anne Ranking. Slightly Gwen Verdon. It's so far from her Moulin Rouge Satine voice. I love it. Give it some zazz. Just turn him into jazz hands. I can't jazz hand my right. That's... You can't tell, but I'm doing a kick line right now. Zazz comes from within. I need to take notes. Zazz from within. Oh, I don't know who that is. <gasps> it's my Zaz. She, Nicole Kidman can see my Zaz. It's time to show it to the world. Show everyone your Zaz. Yeah. Show us your Zaz. Oh, it's over. Excuse me. That's enough Zaz. No more Zaz. Next up, Alyssa Green. Ariana DeBose is finally going to get a solo. I cannot tell you how here I am for this. I feel like every movie musical gives us at least one legit Broadway person. And Andrew Reynolds obviously as well comes from that world, but has done enough film and TV that he's a known name as well. Like he does talk shows and more people know who he is. Ariana DeBose going into this is a huge deal. Endless rules apply when you're Alyssa Green. She's totally just so on it. Her tonality is perfect. Shit. That just broke my whole heart. Let this girl voice a Disney princess. 
Oh, they've left the little bit of dialogue out of that, so you don't know what's happening. I've listened to the Broadway one, I know. That's why I'm crying. So this is now Love Thy Neighbor, which is Andrew Reynolds is gonna teach the children about religious hypocrisy. This song already reminds me of You all know the Bible came from testaments old and new. And so Andrew Reynolds singing this is gonna be an adventure for us all. A small tattoo. Shelby, oh, it's Shelby from earlier. Again, sung to a child. Oh, effortless. Effortless. Yes. Yes, gospel moment. Oh. Oh. Oh, everything I needed. That's a skip it on the cast recording song normally, but... Not in that man's hands, let me tell you. Then you came along Again, glorious orchestration. Feelings began to overflow, so I had to it's angelic voice over the top. Use your diaphragm. Yes, she hit that right. And I think that's worth These lyrics are so beautiful, so lovely. This is the bit that's going to make me cry. That's worth fighting for. I love the audio mixing on this that you can still hear her so clearly, but you've got the power behind her. Yes! See, now I think I prefer that actually. Simple ending. Oh my god. Did I nearly cry because of the beautiful LGBT representation of young people or the belting? We may never know. Thank god it's time to dance. I can't take any more of these emotions. I did not put on this jacket to cry in it. Now this song is going to go from zero to a thousand. You can feel that climb. Modulate! Yes! Oh, I'm so ready for this. Here we go. Oh, it's young people music again. I suddenly feel like I'm clubbing with straight people again. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my arms. Help! I can't choreograph to this. Oh, thank God it's coming back. Young people don't want club music and techno. Young people want Broadway finales at their proms. Yes! I love this ending. Because the marketing may not have made it clear, but this is what the story is really about. Ah! Oh, that was great. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness. That was emotional and energetic. How's my hair? And that is the end of the soundtrack of the movie version of The Prom on Netflix. Not a cast recording because it's a movie, so it's a soundtrack. I, oh. I am now super excited to watch the movie on Netflix. Hopefully by the time this video is out, it has already come out, so you can go straight there and go and check it out for yourselves. It also is coming out in select cinemas, which I am now super tempted to go and see because that's made me so excited to actually see it. Let me know your thoughts on the movie soundtrack of The Prom and what you've heard of it so far. Let me know your thoughts if you're someone who's seen the show and has big feelings about this and the movie. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my Stagey YouTube channel where there are plenty more videos of me reacting to musicals as well as lots of other Stagey content. I hope that everyone is staying safe and have a Stagey day. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>